Hello, Brian Lynch here. It is January 14th, 2012, and I've recently received word from the Indiana Department of the Chemist that I have passed the pesticide core exam. Uh, this is an exam uh, that, will, uh, uh, that you can take that will allow you to get a license to apply restricted use pesticides. Uh, those pesticides that are considered to be a little bit too dangerous uh, to be sold in stores uh, to the general public. Now, let me say that uh, I really hope uh, that I can go fully organic this year. I don't want to have to apply any really uh, toxic pesticides, uh, but if there's something that's causing a unacceptably large amount of damage to my trees, uh, I have no qualms whatsoever in using whatever means uh, are necessary to control that pest. The pesticide core exam covers some of the fundamentals you'll need to be aware of in order to safely and legally apply pesticides on your property. Uh, you'll need to be aware of some of the laws and regulations that govern uh, pesticide use. You'll need to be aware of the personal protective equipment you need to use in order to safely protect yourself while applying these pesticides. Uh, you'll need to know what kind of measures you can take to minimize drift of pesticides from your property to your neighbor's property or from your property to the groundwater. Uh, you'll need to know how to safely mix, store, and transport pesticides. Uh, you'll need to know about the various formulations of pesticides that are available. Uh, usually the kind of pesticides you find at the uh, local home improvement store, they're either ready to use as is, or you might need to mix them with a little bit of water. Uh, there are many other kinds of uh, formulations uh, available, and you'll need to know the advantages and disadvantages of each. Uh, and finally, you'll need to know how to read the pesticide label. Uh, there's a lot of good information on these labels, which these days are more like books uh, stuck on the front of the container, and uh, you'll just need to be able to read and interpret what these things say. There were two resources I used when studying for the pesticide uh, exam. Uh, the first was the National Core Manual. Uh, it's freely available online, and I'll provide a link in the description below. It's got a lot of good information in it, uh, but it's got a lot of uh, superfluous information that, I, in my opinion, uh, you really don't need to know as well. So, it's sometimes hard to separate the wheat from the chaff. Uh, for example, it's got a whole section devoted to which acts of Congress cause which government agencies to do which things. How knowing that helps a private pesticide applicator do their job any better is beyond me. A much better resource, in my opinion, is the Michigan Pesticide Applicator Manual. Once again, it's freely available online, and I'll provide a link in the description below. Uh, it really does a good job of focusing on what you need to know in order to safely and legally apply pesticides to your property. And uh, I'd say even if you're not ever planning on using restricted-use pesticides, it definitely is uh, worth skimming through this at least once because it does have a lot of good information in it.